It's the sixth release of the Tullibardine Marcus collection. Now that would sound a hell of a lot more regal if I didn't have such a culty Northern Irish accent. <laughs> What about you whiskey lovers and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. Time to hit the cask strength again. Go for some classic Scotch whiskey. Haven't done a Tullibardine on the channel before, but if you're going to do one, why not start off and do it right? Now this, as I said, is the sixth edition of the Marcus collection. And basically, I'm going to have to read this a wee bit here on the computer, my bub. It's the... Uh, the Marcus collection of Tullibardine honours those who have held the title of Marcus of Tullibardine over the centuries, including William Murray, who obviously this is named after, and he was a contemporary of Bonnie Prince Charlie and a figure in the Jacobite Rebellion of 1715. So there's quite a history there, but we're not here for the history, we're here for the whiskey. So what is this whiskey? And how's it been matured. Right, it's it's non-chill filtered, it's cask strength, it's natural colour, it's bottled at 56.6% ABV. It was distilled in 2007 and bottled in 2019 and fully matured in first full bourbon barrels. It'll cost you around 55 quid, although you can get it as low as 50 uh, if you look in the right places. Now, before we get right into it, this was suggested to me to try by one of my subscribers. And I'm damned if I can remember who it was. So, if it was you, please comment down below and let me know. And thank you for suggesting it to me. I've had it for quite a while. It's... I did write your name down somewhere, but with the advances in age and brain fog, that somewhere has become I don't know where now. So I'll just have to get on with it and get into the whiskey tasting. And uh, please let me know who you are so I can give you a shout out uh, in the comments down below. But anyway, let's get right on into this. If you happen to have a pour of this, please bring it into your glass because you know, whiskey's always better shared and we can just go through it together. If not, pick a nice scotch or cask strength of your fancy. And we'll sit back and enjoy a nice whiskey together. Slauncha. Now right off on the nose, there's two things that are apparent right from the off. This is a big hit of fresh lemon zest and there are zero hints that what you're dealing with here is a cask strength high proof whiskey and then as you let it settle in the glass as you swirl it around a wee bit here comes a woody oily nutty combination it's polished pine wood, it's perfumey, it's cashew nuts. And then here comes some walnuts as well. Overall, it's quite sweet in nature. Out with a lot of the, the other cask strength whiskies I've had. Now what I'm liking here is there's a wee bit of a a subtle hint of spice coming into play, but it's very subtle. It's barley sugar in nature. And then there's a nice punch of vanilla pod, like proper vanilla pod, and it's not artificial flavor. It's very, very much natural in nature. And if you can hear noise in the background, that's the wife calling the daughter for uh, to go for her bath before Strictly comes on. Oh dear God. And talking about that, look here in the background, as you can probably see, my little princess is uh, sitting there in front of the the presentation box on the bottle because my daughter Erin said, Daddy, you got to put that in there or 
else, you'll be in my bad books. So I don't want to be in the bad books with the daughter because I'm normally in the bad books with the wife. And having the two of them on my back is not really a cool thing. But anyway. Again, light, fruity, zesty, no hint of the ABV that you're having to deal with here. But it is a nice nose and we'll see how that carries through onto the palate. Launch you. I tell you what, right off in the palate, it's totally different than on the nose. There may have been zero hint of the cask strength nature of this whiskey on the nose, but it's very apparent right from the start here on the palate. It's straight off honey, lemon zest, a big barley sugar zing. And with that barley sugar zing comes a wee bit of orangey spice, a wee bit of barley sugar spice. I love barley sugar. It tingles the tongue right in the mid palate. But while that zing and that zestiness, that spice is there, it's not overpowering. It's just a wee bit of a nymph. You know it's there. It makes you sit up slightly and take notice. But it's just a very nice lovely gentle tingle rather than a big smack right up the keister you know anyway let's go in again now that lemon zestiness becomes a bit more thicker a bit more like lemon curd there's a big squeeze of honey there's a sprinkle of cinnamon in there now to add to that zinginess zestiness of the barley sugar spice vanilla oak barley sugar it's really something different. As I said on the nose, there's something different than I've had on most cask strengths. It has that extra oomph, but it really is on the sweeter side. And it doesn't really give you the whole impact of that cask strength. For some people, that might be a good thing, you know. Now the finish, it's medium to long. Yes, there is a nice zesty, zingy mouthfeel. Uh, but overall, as I've said, it is on the lighter side of cask strength finishes. There's lemon, there's honey, there's barley sugar. And it does then finish to a nice light oak note. And that zinginess stays there throughout. Now, this is a very, very good whiskey. It's reasonably priced for a cask strength. You know, it's 12 years old, which is good, because a lot of the cask strengths don't really have an age statement. You know, but at the same time, it's not mind-blowing. It doesn't take me to the place that most other cask strength have had do but that said it's still a very very good whiskey it's one that i would definitely pick up again particularly if i saw it on a bargain and you know what as you know i'm more into the good damn good dirty whiskies you know with a wee bit more rich robust darker deeper flavor than this this is more lighter and floral. And if that's your thing, you'll love this. So if you haven't had it, I would encourage you to go out and pick it up if you can, because you'll probably really enjoy it. So with that all said, when it comes to a score, where's it gonna be? Very good, very enjoyable, but not reaching that level that some others do. 89.5, and that's a pretty damn good score. So please folks, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you've had this before, what are your thoughts on it and how does it compare to other cask strength whiskies you've had? As always, it's been great uh, hanging out with you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your ongoing support. If you're a new subscriber, welcome on board. Please jump right into the comments and become a part of this great whiskey community. And Special thanks to you guys who go the extra mile and support me on Subscribestar and on Patreon. If you want to join those Murray Band of 
whiskey aficionados. Links are all down below. No pressure, like. But anyway, I just appreciate your support. And you know what? All the next time, folks, keep on looking after yourselves. Keep on looking after each other. And keep on, most importantly, drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Slaughter. Thanks for watching folks, I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.